Hello, can I speak to Mr. Walters, please? Yep, speaking. Hello, Joe. I'm just calling to tell you about claiming back money from being missold PPI from your bank. We're just helping out people claim back their money. We need to confirm that you are the signee. Do you still reside in 142 Ford Road? Uh, yeah. Well then, Joe, I just need to know who you bank with. Well, uh, actually, I keep all my money in a sock under my mattress. Under your mattress? Yeah. It offered a four-year fixed rate when I switched. <laughs> Are you trying to mess with me, Joe? I do apologise for the inconvenience of troubling you, but there could be some money for you. We're a legitimate company, sir, and we deal with all the high street lenders. Uh, do you know what? I've had enough now. Just piss off. Hello? That wasn't very polite, was it, Joe? Look, I don't appreciate these kind of junk telephone calls. I was offering you the chance to potentially claim thousands of pounds, Joe. Look, I'm not interested, so I'd appreciate if you didn't call, OK? You're not interested in having money, Joe? Well, of course I'm interested in having money, but I'm not interested in you calling me. But I'm calling to offer you money, Joe. Look, I'm not going to give away any of my details out over the phone. So just piss off and try and steal some money off some old age pensioner whose naive trust you can exploit. Look, just piss off and leave me alone, okay? Mum, sorry, I thought you were someone else. I haven't put your number in my phone yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Game over. Look, you lose. I'll see you Sunday, Mum. I'm, I'm a bit busy now. Bye. I'm only calling for your benefit, Joe. Look, I've asked you nicely, now just leave me alone. You didn't ask very nicely at all, Joe. In fact, you were rather rude. I don't believe this. Can you please stop calling and disturbing me? Oh, because you have lots to do right now? Yeah, yeah I do. Things more important than getting thousands of pounds for free? I'm not interested. Maybe I should call back in a few minutes when you're less busy. I know I really struggled with level 7 as well. What did you say? Level 7. It's quite difficult. What? I'm struggling to see how you say that you feel money is more important even though you don't work. You just sit on your sofa all day playing video games. And for the past week, you haven't even changed out of those pyjamas, Joe. For the past two days, you've had that red stain on your shirt from the pizza you ordered. Where are you? It's not a surprise you're single. Look at the state of you. I certainly hope you clean yourself up before going around your parents' house on Sunday. That's if you're able to attend, of course. What do you mean? I called offering you thousands of pounds for free and you were very rude to me. Life has been offering you these opportunities to improve, Joe, and you've been ignoring and rejecting them. To be perfectly honest, Joe, it disgusts me. You really disgust me, Joe. Who is this? That's irrelevant, Joe. The question is... Who are you? What do you want? I want you to realise, Joe, that you are nothing. Look. Fuck you! Why did you close the curtains, Joe? Do you think I'm outside?
where are you?